Hello, David. It's your old friend Robert here talking about prayer. I love this one. Prayer changes our destiny. Now, how true that is. In 1974, in the uh, Thanksgiving weekend, I prayed a prayer that changed my destiny. I gave my life to Jesus Christ. Now, at the time, I didn't know how to pray. So I just kind of said, God, if you're real, come into my heart. Little did I know how God was going to change my destiny. I had been going my own way, doing my own thing. But in that moment of prayer, with the simplicity of the words that said, God, I know that you're real, come into my heart. He changed my direction. Little did I know that he would take me to places that I never thought I would go. Do things that I never thought I would do. Create or follow a career path that I never thought I would follow. You know, it's been a, a wonderful journey. He gave me a wonderful wife, a lovely family, all of those things which I never even dreamed could possibly happen. And it's all because of prayer. Prayer can change our destiny. In just a moment, God can turn a situation around from negative to positive. He can take us places and do things with us that we never dreamed possible. For example, we have the story of Gideon. Gideon at the time was in a wine press, and the angel of the Lord came to him and said, You are a mighty man of valor. Now, he didn't fully understand what that meant, but... In time, he would become a mighty man of valor. That's the thing about God. God t talks to us and tells us what we are going to be, not what we are right now. See, God knows what we're going to become as we spend time in his presence. And that's prayer is that vehicle that makes all of those things a reality. When I think about the destiny of each one of us, the plans and purposes, and how God can communicate those things through prayer, it's fantastic. It, it just changes everything. So my prayer for each one of us, David, is that today, in our places of prayer, we would say, God, do you have something today in my life? Is there someone you're going to bring across my path? Is there something that I'm going to do that's going to affect my destiny? Give me the work, give me the wisdom, the courage, and the understanding to do it for your praise and glory, that I may honor and glorify you. And all of that is found in that place of prayer. You have yourself a great and godly day, David. It's your old friend, Robert Dean Steele.